Whoa. Patchy Cephalos. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we got the dinosaur transports. There's two of them because there's a total of eight dinosaurs to collect inside these big rib cages. They look like T-Rexes. So you have the top version, which is the gray dino transport. Then down below you have what looks like white, yellow bones with orange highlights. And at the top with the gray one, you get the T-Rex. And then inside the rib cage, you get three other dinos to collect. In fact, let's take a look at the first one here. There you go at the bottom, it says dinosaur transport plus four lights and sound posable dinos. So it sounds like these dinos will light up. Let's go over to the left-hand side, four dinos included. Again, says the same thing. Then to the right, transport and store dinos. You can do that. And then it says create epic battles up at the top. Over to the right, squeeze jaws for lights and sounds. There you go. You just play with the jaws and they'll just bite your finger off. <laughs> you'll make the sound and you'll light up. And then like there's the sides, you know, it says four lights and sound dinos, dinosaur transport. Up at the top, it says the same thing. And then let's go to the back. So over to the left, again, dinosaur transport. Underneath that, load your dinosaurs and escape into the future with the dino transport. Create your own dino world. Why the future? What's wrong with the present? Because that's what we're unboxing. It's a big present. And it says load and go. It looks cool, just that rib cage. You can see the wheels. And then down at the bottom, it says moving legs. When you move the transport, it'll actually move the legs of the uh, transport itself, the dino legs here. That's cool. And then over to the right, here's the four you get inside of this one, which is the gray dino transport here. You saw the T-Rex, he's on the outside here, but in the cage, you get the Spinosaurus, Triceratops, mm, and Stegosaurus. And then down below, you can see it says collect them all because the other transport is not the gray one is this one over here which is the well kind of yellow bonish white with the orange highlights this is part of the unboxing that's you know really tricky because it's finding and locating all the tape and if you're a true collector you won't like destroy the box as we won't try to destroy but we'll just find all the wow is there anything magical underneath oh and they got the zip Ties tied me down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down, snip, snip. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. I don't know. It may be an Australian song. I really don't know. We have kangaroos here. <laughs> yeah, like the collection agency. We're hopping mad. <laughs> Let's go. I can't get, what's up? Oh, well, actually you get the T-Rex out. It might be better on this side as long as I don't nip his. Oh. <laughs> No, he's not screaming. <laughs> I keep thinking I want to call her a she. We're not in the Jurassic world, guys. Well, this is technically Jurassic, you know, and it's a world. Come on, I gotta get better li leverage. Oh. And then the tail's the last thing. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, look, he's been banded here. We get off this band, you know, he won't be tracked. Yes. Okay, so that's the first one. Oh, he's got a hole. I don't know why the, you know, two holes here. And does he stand? Well, that's the first test. Let's see if we can get him to stand. And the holes might be, I don't know, maybe he can stand and ride on the, the head. Yee -wee! I want to blow the horn. Uh, let's see. Maybe he's out further. Maybe that's what those holes are at the bottom to help him, like, get propped properly. Oh, man, come on. There we go. I think that works. Remember, if we move the jaws, he'll light up and scream. So we'll do that kind of towards the end here. We'll just put him off to the side. Okay, that's coming out. Oh, it sounds like, you know, grandma. These bones are all creaky and joint. <laughs> it's like, okay, look at that. Oh, you see that? It moves the head. That'd be cool if you could roll it and it lights up, you know, do, 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 or it backs up and light. Do, 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 do. And look, the bones are moving. That's cool. And this one's moving in, well, there's the other side, guys. This one's moving at a different, not in sequence. That one's up, this one's down, or that one's down, this one's up. That is so cool, man. You get it? Woo! <laughs> he doesn't open or shut his mouth, but you can go left and right. That's so cool. And then, so we'll open him, but... Whoa. Man, that's cool. Now, the tricky part, I guess, here is learning how to open it up. It says on the picture on the back, it shows like little red dots to where you're supposed to pop this off so you can actually lift this up. But I'm trying to see which one do I pop? <laughs> which one do I break? So this one, is it, is it this? Do I just keep pulling until I find something that pops or breaks? Oh, this looks like hard. Okay, really? Because it looks like it's trying to pop out from this. Uh, if we break it, guys, it's your fault, man. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> Do it for me. Like and subscribe. Say, man, we just like to see him break toys. Oh, no. Why? How? It's not coming out. I don't know, man. Okay, we'll flip the other side just to see if this is the poppable side. 
By Jove, I think you've got it, camera mom. This one doesn't have clasp around it, so maybe, you see how that, that extends out, but it's not like ensconced in it completely. So I'm wondering if we could just, oh yeah, there you go. So this one actually is just like a wrench. It just slides on. Ooh, okay, mom, you're so smart. <laughs> and me, I learned from the best. Ooh, that's fun. Did you hear that? Here's, here, listen to it again. Oh man, that's an adjustment. Those creaky bones. Wow, that's so cool, guys. That's just fun. <laughs> you know, just to be able to do that back and forth, man. Oh, they're actually in. I gotta like free them. Free, free, set them free. Okay, I don't wanna, oh. How do you get these? Okay, I gotta do better. Okay. There we go, there we go, okay. Yeah. Maybe this whole thing just comes out. Will this, do I have to clip them in here? Can I just pull them all out? Oh. Okay, the cardboard doesn't matter. We can tear that up, right, guys? We can tear the cardboard up, right? Okay, let's get Triceratops. There we go. That's easier. Okay, then we're not snipping them. Oh, wow. Okay, let me get the... Oh, there's the back leg. There's Triceratops. She looking good. Oh, but why is she like... I gotta adjust her feet right. Okay, I think that's right. I think I think that's legit. Snitchel snots. What's this dude again? Spinous... Oh, man. Yeah, I... Why doubt yourself? I knew he had a spine, so it's got to be the spinal source, right? Okay, so, oh man. There's no other way to get these things off than, I think, just with wire cutters, I think, you know? Oh, look, so you should pull that out because it's inside, keeping the batteries uh, not connected. So if somebody's in there, you know, in the store just playing with the mouse, it doesn't light up, you know? So we'll pull the umbilical cord and we'll get it done in just a minute. Wow, that looks cool. Spinal source. All right, now for the stegosaurus. I think that tag of the uh, Triceratops fell out, so we got the Stegosaurus. And then we'll put, and you can see the Stegosaurus on this side. There's the speaker. On the Spinosaurus, it's the other side. There's the speaker. Triceratops, you guessed it, at the bottom. Cool. Man, this looks like these, oh wow, that's really up there. Moves very well, I think. Oh, some of the paint. <laughs> Still drying a little bit, but completely dried in its place. It's stuck. Okay, there we go. There's your uh, spikes there. Call it spiky. All right, so you guys ready to hear more? Don't forget T-Rex. Now we may have to turn off the lights to actually see it, right? So let's go ahead and close this off and roady, roady, roady. They like going on their train ride, being locked in their cages. <laughs> let's go with the uh, T-Rex first. Wheel mic, and what you need to do is you need to like push on the mouth, they say. And I don't know if it's gonna light up in the eyes. It's so light, we'll have to turn off the light, see? Yeah. Hey, I wonder how many different sounds they have, because there's the first one, right? And the red, I don't know if you saw the red eyes there, but they did light up. That was cool. So the first one was different from the second one, but it repeated the same sound three times. Okay. So it looks like we cycled and you get two different sounds, unless it's like, you know, on repeat just for the first two. Yeah, it sounds like those are the two same sounds, so super cool. And we'll hit the lights, guys, in just a minute, uh, once we get them all out, just to see what the, they look like, you know, in the dark with your beady red eyes. So the T-Rex, sounds really cool. Now we're going for Tricera Ops, the tops. Oh, look at her mouth, man. I, so we should be able to close that. Let, let's take a look at her eyes. I'll try to go from this side so you can get the eyes. I can see the eyes, it's really beady, it's hard, but it, it does light up. At first I thought it was some UFO. <laughs> and then it started like, okay, you know, I think it's just two sounds per dino here. Yeah, it seems like it's just two for each one, which is really cool because this one, I think, has the coolest sound so far, at least the first one that we did. Now for the Spinosaurus, and their eyes are so wee beady eyes. Okay, let's play with uh, his yapper. Kind of sounded the same like the T-Rex a little bit, I That's think. What I heard. Okay, let's try it again. It sounded like it was really angry. It was gonna come after you, almost like a velociraptor where they go and they come after you. Man, that's cool. So, so far these two, their second sounds are the best. They saved it the best for last, the second sounds. So let's go for a stegosaurus. That'll be interesting, okay. And then watch the beady eyes. Such a tiny mouth. 
was cool. It's almost kind of like a thing coming at you, flying like a you know an angry bat, <laughs> or some you know something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't sound like a stegosaurus to me. It sounds like more like an angry bird or something, a pterodactyl. <laughs> so that's really cool. And like I said, we'll get the other ones out. But you know, in the meantime. Back to your cages, although, you know, the T-Rex, I don't think you can fit them all in there, you know? Should we try, guys? Yeah, see, this one's got three holes, but where would you stand them? There must be some other, like, thing, because there's, I mean, can you stand them on the top here? Is there anything? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, no, but they can ride. <laughs> I want to, don't want to be in my cage. I want to ride, man. Oh, well, not everybody. Okay, some of you guys have to go in here. Okay, I think that works. Hang on, guys, buckle up. Oh, there's no seatbelts. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's okay, man. They have such small wee brains anyways. It wouldn't be damaging much. Okay, all right. Cool, I think my favorite one is like, it looks like the Diablo Ceratops, Diablo Tops, Diablo Cera, uh, anyway, the, the Devil Tops. And so that one looks cool. God, that's awesome. Okay, we roll it over here, guys. Let's take a look at the other ones. Woo! Here we go. This one I think is my favorite, just the skeleton, because it really like stands out. It pops. It's so cool. It says the same thing, you know, front, back, sides, except on the back, this is what you're getting. So you get the Dilphosaurus, which is the one that just goes cray and spits at you. You know, like camels, watch out, they spit. And wow, this one says you get the T-Rex as well. So the T-Rex must be inside the deals on the outside. So you get two T-Rex. You get a T-Rex here and you get a T-Rex over in this one. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, so I guess they're different colors. All right. And then you got the, oh no. <laughs> Let me go to Carnotaurus first. There, you got the Carnotaurus and then I got to go back to the, oh, don't make me do this. Patchy so love a patchy, patchy does it on the left hand side. I said patchy does, I'm gonna try, patchy yo. Patchy Cephalosaurus. Let's just patchy that up. I'll call him patchy. Okay, <laughs> here we go, guys. Wow, it's just like, oh man. It's Christmas morning all over again. This is so cool. So many things to like look at. It's eye candy or dino candy. There we go. Okay, I think that should be enough just to at least free our transport. Oh, that's cool, man. Okay, so first off, you can see the uh, transport. It just looks cool how it really, 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 really rollies, right? And then we got the Dilfel source. Let me go ahead and see if I can. I mean, look at its like things. It's like, it kind of reminds me of those dogs who keep nibbling on their hiney or whatever. They got to put the cone around and maybe that's just part of mother nature. Here's the cone, don't nibble on your hiney. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it flares out to scare you, you know, that's the whole point. But, you know, it gets you, you know, like a rattlesnake, start flicking and before they actually start spraying or biting. Oh, how does this work? Okay, the hand goes forward. It looks like that foot's really bent. Okay, I don't think that that's, oh man, that foot is like a club foot. I don't hear. A Dilphosaurus is supposed to be that low. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be, oh, with the tail. Uh, and the tail's not touching, so actually that balances out. Maybe it needs to have the, uh, you know, be bow-legged to help with the balance, you know. That's cool. That's awesome. Look at that. And the yellow. And that, that actually looks like a, a beautiful flower. You're like, oh, my way to pre- <laughs> So, you know, anyways. Yeah, I don't get into the dinosaurs, at least those scary parts, okay? Now, to get this out, we don't want to, you know, is, it this, is this the side that you lift up? Yes. And where is it here? Oh, no, right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was fun. Let's do it one more time for effect. Woo! Oh, it's got that clickiness. I like that. Because that's what happens, you know, when you pop your bones. Oh. Okay. Oh, we, okay, so we're going to pull this out, right? Oh, let's try to get him out. All right, we'll turn that around. Then we'll set him. For, poor dude. He's got a dunce cap. <laughs> it just looks like one of those hats, you know? You're late to school again. You didn't finish your schoolwork. Go sit in the corner and wear this hat, you know? Poor dude. Do this one. It's still banded around his ankle. Okay, so this is Pachi. Oh, and his little thing coming out. All right, there's Patchy. It looks kind of cool. I mean, oh, it looks like Patchy age got wrinkles on the nose and stuff. Now I just gum on like some small snakes. <laughs> and the thing shooting now, it's just like, does that hurt? That's more for protection, right? Because anybody, it, it, it's too bad that he didn't finish the effect and have the armadillo where it, you know, the whole cover, like a turtle shell, didn't go all the way to the back. Oh, and this doesn't look right. 
Okay, that's got to go up. Okay, wags his tail when he's happy. Okay, who's next? Oh, it's the T-Rex. Yeah, baby. Take that off. And then for the T-Rex, oh, our T-Rex is trapped. We got to compare, right, guys? Got to compare. Dare to compare. Besides, you know, we're doing our own, you know, fashion show here of colors. Which one's scarier to you guys? The one on the left or the right? So this one's the darker version. <laughs> They both look the same and it's just the different colors it looks like. Except I can't get this one. See, that one's kind of like bent in. Is that right? It was standing right till I touched it. Oh, here we go. Well, keep it upright. Uh, I don't know. The green's more camouflage and that this one's just, you know, dark and maybe that one's scarier. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and then stand at attention. And then we got... Like there's a carnivore, carnivore, carnitore. Oh, let me get pull the tag out. Look at his little beady arms. Who wins? You got the, you know, the little uh, fork, or you got, I mean, they're both little arms here. Hmm. Oh well. Take the tail, and then we'll take a look at that. It just doesn't seem right, just way back like that, can't he? Oh, I mean, that's it, guys. <laughs> that's it? You can't adjust it. Oh no. Let me it's get the. Just a straight up dino? I know. And, and, and let me hold on. Let me put it back here, see if I can get this dino to, yeah, straight up, word up, man. There, that looks normal. <laughs> That works. It's one of those scavengers that's running around you. Know, oh, but up oh, like this, yeah, that's, you just look, look, a bird. Oh, and that's how they got extinct because once they faced it one way, that was it. <laughs> so now we got to go ahead and test the sounds. Then after this, stay tuned, guys. We want to turn off the lights and just see how wee beady their eyes are. So first of all, let's do our pachi. Okay, here, what kind of sounds do we have pachi? I don't know, it sounds like gear shifting inside of them, you know, of a diesel or something. And the eyes were green. They actually turned green. So, you know, green means a plant eater. Red, we're carnivores. Look at you up. I think that's what it is. Well, wait a second. That's a plant eater stegosaurus. Uh-huh. And that was red from what I could see. All right. Let's go to the T-Rex here. Go try it again. It sounds like the same sound, doesn't it? I mean, why would you... Okay, domino style. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, see, they're the same. So it all comes down to the color, you know, uh, your flavor, which one scares you more? It's darker, it's frightening, I'm scared. Okay, and then, oh, we got the Dillo. Okay, the Dillo, I have high expectations. I expect it to just start, you know, flapping about. So here we go. And the eyes, what if the eyes were yellow? Let's see. Sound like the T-Rex to me. It sounds like it's just a, a, an airplane just coming in or just flying around like, you know, Snoopy's Red Baron or something coming after him. Here we go, see if this makes sense. Let me get to, let me cycle through to that one. Okay, here we go, incoming. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't get that out of your head now. No, you can't. I did it. It's just burned in there. Once it's out there, you can't bring it back. And then I expect to hear, I don't know what color eyes. I, I think it kind of looks like it's yellow eyes, but I don't know if the light's going to reflect that, the LED inside of it. But it, with its neck up like this, I expect it's just like kind of in a daze, kind of, you know, trying to figure out what the clouds look like. <laughs> okay, that's pretty unique. I'll buy that. And the eyes are green. I think out of all the growls, that one scares me the most, the second one, because it's really deep and guttural, you know, just like it could like shake the whole, man, the carny, you win. Okay, guys, here's the Dilophosaurus in the dark. But let's go ahead and go to the Carnotaurus. Okay, just the eyes are green. You can't see it like the Dilophosaurus where it actually lights up the neck a little bit, which is to be expected by the Dillo. Now this one is patchy. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, Triceratops. Yeah, that's cool. Here's the uh, T-Rex, and this one is the Dark Rex. 
And here's the other uh, T-Rex, the green one. Okay, here's the Spinosaurus. Here's the Stegosaurus. Okay, yellow eyes, the only yellow eyes. So red, green, yellow. Hmm, red is for caution, green is for go. Which one wins with you guys? Is it the Triceratops, Patchy, Dillo, the T-Rexes, the Spino, or the Stego? You know, I think this is the first dinosaur video I've ever done. I got all the names right. Okay, I'm not saying the whole Patchy, Patchy, okay? And the uh, transports, guys, that's cool. You can just go ahead and just lock it back in. Out of all of them, I think this one's my favorite with the sound. You get at least a T-Rex. You can't go wrong with either one, in my opinion, if you're into the T-Rexes here. And this one just seems to pop more, you know. Put in the comments down below which one's your favorite. And don't worry, guys, I think there's more dinos to undig and unearth. So be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll be there with you always. Woo! Now on to the Fortnite challenge where I got to win it in a dinosaur skin and the new one that I got is the hack source. But hey, it's almost Halloween. Time for some treats. Treats for everybody. I'm going to land at Breakwater Bay, try to get a good solid footing before I go out into the real world and jump. I like the hack source. It's just something different and new. It'd be cool if Fortnite had more dinosaur skins, but I think this one's a, a good one. I was concerned about any more dinosaur skins, if they're gonna like be cool looking, but this one is cool. I like the tail. <laughs> of course, you got the pterodactyl, and it looks like I have uh, maybe a couple others landing here. Oh, one very close. Oh, no treasure chest there, but we got some mini slaps. And I'm just gonna grab this chest, see if I can get a decent, okay. I'm just picking up and it's an SMG. Oh man, somebody else is landing just a wee bit late. Never mind me, I'm getting some slurp. I'm gonna build up my shield. Oh, I can't, I gotta go. They're shooting each other. Let's go ahead and slap out the rest. Time to third party. You first. There we go. Not too shabby babby. It's all in a day's work for a hack. <laughs> so, yeah, that's me, Mr. Hacksaw. Yeah, go ahead and eat some shrooms. See what's in the chest. Oh, trick or treat. Peppermint. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. When I need to hurry and get around. There's a treasure chest up above. Let's knock it down. Oh, the scope burst SMG is not too powerful. I do get some gold. Okay, gold. And then let's take a potty break. Look at those sharp jaws. Those are hacksaws of the jaws. We'll upgrade the scope burst. Let's swap that out and let's go see if we can get a bounty, the quicker eliminator. Oh, I picked the wrong one? Uh, I'll have to get a bounty later. Sometimes my fingers slip. And then I'll take the thermo. Go ahead and eat some peppermint. So we can zip around. One of the quests is you have to like break through a door using a, under the influence of a peppermint candy. Ah, <laughs> it's like, okay. Quest completed. I'll pick up the shotgun. And Marksman headshots with the raffle. More candy, more peppermint. <laughs> Actually, it may come in handy. If I need a quick getaway, of course, I prefer shockwaves by far. And see, uh, more pizza. Kind of pizza out at the moment. Exchange the shotgun. Actually, I'll exchange it again. For the infiltrator. Okay, upgrade the sharp tooth. More candy, more peppermint. God, you can hold up to six. Wonder if that's the max limit. We'll have a snack and run for it. Oh, there's somebody.
Ooh, <laughs> six points left. <laughs> I took a chance. I thought I had the upper hand, but he almost had it. Okay, well, you gotta quickly recoup some of the shield here. And more peppermint. Let's go ahead and pick up our speed. Get some slurp. Yeah, I've had people that have taken me out very slowly. It feels like time has slowed down. I'm like, why is he just barely ping, 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 and I'm dead? <laughs> well, little by little, I'm eating my veggies and my coconut. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. And as the health goes over into shield. Okay, so I'm in a decent, at least for now. And I got peppermint. To take me to glory. <laughs> or to the next shield big pot. A little bit more spicy. That's funny, he marches like a, a, a guard in fast motion. <laughs> when he's out of his original sprint. <laughs> hey, a broom. <laughs> cackle, cackle, wackle, dackles. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and slap uh, more of it out. And then I can use some gold limit, 909. Oh man, sometimes I burn through the Ogs with all this gold. Okay, more peppermint. I'm down to two. And I ain't gonna share it. <laughs> it's my peppermint. It gives me superpowers. Call me Peppermint Man. Oh, where are they? There they are. Unfair advantage, 35. Huh, that metal pole in front of me protected me for a moment. Okay, I gotta make it to the other side. My witchy broom hasn't fully charged yet for some strange reason, it's still a zero. Okay, I think the witch broom is out of magic or power. Oh, there we go, now it's ready to go. Oh, I want this rare chest, must have it. It's gotta be something better, like a purple or a legendary, maybe. Ooh, pumpkin. Let's see, what do I grab that? I guess I'm full on the rockets. 13's the max, I think. Unlucky 13. Take the witchy poo broom. Somebody's like zip lining, and not zip lining, but binding. Okay, ooh. Good show. No, he just went inside. Boo. If I can get to the other side, I don't want to be jump scared, so I'll jump scare him. Oh, no, he's got one of those business turrets. He means business. Oh, ow. Man, he was ready for me. Bye. Ooh, that's a big blood moon up there. I jumped up, I noticed it. Cool. Man, i just been barely hanging on. <laughs> Thank goodness for blooming flowers. I need more flowers. They're juicy and delicious. Mm, so it's here. Nope. I'll smack it. Ow. Come on, guys. Good gravy. Everybody wants a piece of hacksaw. They must think I'm a sweat. Here's a sweat. <laughs> Rocket grenades. Okay, shockwaves. Yep. Og time. On the go bag. Could use more shockwaves. No, it won't let me pick him up, so I guess I better finish my Ogs. And then I'm running out of gold. Ninja training. That's a good one. First assault. And that completes the training. Hey, meathead. <laughs> Mince meat. He looks so creepy, man. I ain't hanging around him. Oh, somebody's behind me. Bye bye. And I need more. Sh uh oh. Okay, didn't take fall damage. Let's go. Somebody's coming in with the witchy poo broom. Bye. You're not going to catch me off guard. Ooh. Okay, well. <laughs> Time for a dip, 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 dip. 
override the airways. Fake them out. Go the other way. I'm not sure if they're on my trail, but, you know, I can get a bird's eye view with the birdie. Let's go. They're shooting it out. Oh. Ooh. Um, you know what? We'll slap it, and then we'll grab it for a potty break. Leave the pumpkin there. Little WD-40 to help out lube the joints there. Oh, yeah. That's a cool pumpkin launcher. And I'm going to grab it. Come on, pumpkin head. Looks like we're ending up at Frenzied Fields. It's one of my favorite spots in Fortnite. I don't know, just trees, barn, farms. I think I've seen a chicken here or there. Farmer Bob doesn't have many farm animals. Over the fence, little equestrian moves. Oh. Bye-bye. I'm not ready for you just yet. Hey, Jack. What are you doing, man? I like the skin. Ooh. <laughs> right in the bonehead. Oh, he's got an enhanced mythic infiltrator. I need my pumpkin launcher. Hey, Headless Horseman. Here's your head back. Oh, I don't think I hit him at all. Uh, let me load everything. Mm, some good shots there. Pumpkin time. Oh, wow, I messed that one up. Oh, <laughs> Infiltrator Legendary. You go down. My turn. I want to use a shotgun. My turn. My turn. That's got a wicked, like, brah, when the pumpkin launches off. That's cool. Let's see if we can give him a, a pumpkin salute. Go. Nothing. I need to aim him just a little bit. Ooh. They're still there, right? Oh, 130. Oh, I think they just uh, witchy pooed out of here. What's that about? 63. Oh, it looks like they're doing a shaggy move where they just sit there in one place while trying to scramble to get their feet ready. Two, five tick. Boosh. Let's go. And it's still 1v4. I'm gonna chill axe here for just a minute. Oh, the minute has come. <laughs> okay. Let's take a getaway car. It's called the Haxa car. For the Haxa, let's get out here. Uh, oh, wait, I'm looking at my numbers, thinking there's four players left. No, that's how many limbs I got. Woo. Ooh. It's fish head. I wish it would have pumped him on. Oh, ouch. Okay, 1v1. There they are, They're right next to the rock. This is where pumpkin. Ooh, 130. That's it. Oh, yeah. That was clean. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe because we'll have more dinos for you. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.